Okay guys, so hello and welcome back to Thuncraft, and we're going to get stuck straight into this episode because I tend to speak way too much at the start of episodes, and what we're going to start off doing is to make the uh, goggles of revealing. Now how you make this is two thermometers, a gold ingot, and leather at the bottom. And I've made extra thermometers just so that I uh, don't waste the one I have on me. Even though a lot of people will probably complain that um, you can use these as thermometer, as a thermometer, sorry. And I probably will. Although what I am going to do over here is now that I have these goggles of revealing, I can open this. So what you need to do is you need to take off your helmet and pop these on. And as you can see, I can now see these symbols here. So what I need to do is I need to get those equivalent symbols. So I got one of those uh, tainted and a aqueous. I got two of each because you're not actually really going to be asked any more than two. While saying that, you could be asked for more than two, but um, you're unlikely to. So here we go. Epic. Okay, so now is the fun part. And um, it's going to be pitch black down in here, and I don't think uh, torches will do much. Do I have torches on me? Yes, I do. But I don't think torches do anything, because what I've seen from times beforehand is that it doesn't, or they don't. So it's not going to be that bright. So I'm going to make it all the way to the bottom. Whoa, that was close. I'm going to make it all the way to the bottom here, and uh, I'll see you down there. Okay, and we're down, and I may have uh, died once. Although, as you can see, if I uh, fill this place with torches, it, it's not really sort of changing it that much. And what I'm thinking of doing in the sort of future is I may uh, set up a portal seal down to this room here. And I might brighten it up a little bit. Like, I might replace the floor a bit by raising, obviously, the floor one up. The one thing is you can't break any of this stuff here. So um, there's no real way of uh, sort of making it look brighter apart from replacing everything like by one block in, which we may make the room seem quite a bit smaller, but we'll we'll make it work. But anyway, so um, that's sort of in the way of now things now, isn't it? <laughs> I'll just break it for now. Okay, so um, as you can see, we've got four chests, which is awesome, and you can collect all these. And I also got two interfaces, which is awesome because interfaces are what you like really want in these chests because you can interface with them similar to the ender pro mod although let's see what's inside these chests okay so i got in here that which is pretty cool and the really stupid thing is i can interact with every single interface there is which is kind of silly um but at the same time awesome so let's see in here we got that i'll check what we have in the non-interfaced ones i guess so we got some awesome things here and some drop the starks and I'll be turning all these into cool stuff soon. Like break that, you can collect these all. Uh, so I got this sort of stuff here, which is awesome. Thank you. Uh, in the interface, as I say, what I want to do with this is um, just collect every single thing from every single page of every single interface because it's just silly. Because I mean, I can do that, and it's probably not going to be patched now because I'm showing you all this <laughs> because um, I think Anazor does kind of watch these sort of briefly when he has the time so you know sorry if I, p if I get this method patched but um, there you go you can I can do it so nothing in there nothing in there oh but okay so I got some cool stuff in here uh, so I can get all this cool stuff and I'm gonna have loads of stuff so anyway I'm gonna like just collect everything and then I'll go back with you in a second Okay, I got this final one left, and obviously since I got all the one or all the uh, items out of that bookshelf here or bookshelf <laughs> interface, um, and it's kind all connected. This one's obviously going to be empty. So if I just break that and break that, and I love the way you can collect these because now I have plenty of stuff, and I'll show you them in slightly more detail when I get back up to the surface. Although I definitely want to do something out of this room in here. And obviously there are some other uh, monoliths around the area, which I will go and search, because they're obviously you'll get more chests out of them, and more interfaces. And um, what I'm thinking of doing is, if I put every single valuable item that I have inside of these interfaces, then um, I can pretty much access them anywhere. And I, I'm not going to go around carrying them with me, but I, it means I can easily move base, or I can uh, get like a bunker going or something, which is cool. 
and as I say in the future I will soon have a sales on there with a portal and I may just cover this with a obsidian or something or actually no I think you're given some of these elder rich stones aren't you yeah you are so I can just cover them directly with elder rich stones although for now I don't really think that is a wise idea to use that many of these although these things here are amazing for research I mean that is sort of what they're intended to be used for which is awesome um, dropness dark or drops of darkness are very handy obviously and we will do some more research later on in the episode although I want to get on to doing some more uh, stuff now and that stuff consists of this area here now I'm sort of wondering what this area could be used for and I'm thinking this could be my main sort of area which I do all my cool stuff and uh, what I was thinking of it to be is um, or for it to be like is very simple um, as you can see when you walk down here um, I kind of want to keep the caves sort of natural so like flow so when it goes up I'll go up and stuff like that and as you can see there's two sort of nice sort of uh, areas here which go up and what I was thinking of what they could I could do for this is that I could have a nice big sort of area in here almost like a lobby as such and then I'll have two staircases leading up to go to different areas and also in this main lobby I'll have uh, different rooms such as a storage room and things like that so I think I want to do that although before I do any of that what I want to do is build a bridge across here and it's not going to look good if I keep this like this so what I'm thinking of doing is um, moving um, the walls to out because it seems like a wise thing to do uh, so I'll do that quickly now and I'll see you in a minute and I'm going to need a new axe right <laughs> of course I could use a repairer which I can now build but um, I haven't built one of them yet now I don't want to show building too much of this um, on, or like on camera because um, a lot of people don't really like that and I can understand why I would not like that either although I just want to talk for a tiny little minute because I do tend to talk but I do like doing talking sessions kind of and as you can probably tell I'm trying to speak quite fast hopefully you can all hear me still because it's all cool uh, but uh, one thing that I was thinking of uh, upgrading too soon is or uh, are the thomium um, weapons because uh, thomium weapons are very handy and they're like a huge part of thomcraft and I sort of need to upgrade to them soon obviously uh, when I have uh, everything like all the sort of special items fully equipped such as the uh, sword of zephyr or the pickaxe of stream which I can now make uh, the pickaxe of core or whatever it's called and the uh, shovel thing when 1.2.5 comes out for thomcraft um, when I, I have the ability to learn all those I thought it'd be kinda cool if I use those as my main items uh, because resources, um, there's, I've sort of explored these caves a lot and there's a lot of resources there I haven't collected them as such because I didn't really want to uh, ha like go around like collecting like a huge mining session because I didn't really feel like it because I kind of wanted to get this episode recorded um, but uh, after this episode is recorded I probably will go on a huge mining session and I mean I saw a lot of diamonds on there, I saw a lot of everything else which is cool and as I say I don't want to spot talk for too long so that's all I really wanted to say and I'm gonna mine this entire place out so see you later okay so I got that done and it is all awesome and cool and uh, one thing I still need to do is line the border of this still with wood because I do sort of we I want to redo that uh, but I think I'm ready to start building a bridge across here now I'm gonna have to get rid of the staircase here and um, which is fun but uh, once that comes across I'll build a bridge okay so uh, don't worry about this I'm not going to be building the bridge out of cobblestone uh, but what I do need to do beforehand is uh, wow lag really <coughs> that seems to have gone now anyway nope nope maybe not <laughs> well and um, what I need to do is I want to align it with them um, half like upside down half slabs because I think that always looked really nice so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, fill this up with cobblestone and then fill it with half slabs underneath it and that'll be quite cool and then uh, the half slabs will be at foot level so from above it will look like a normal block of wood but from below it will uh, look um, sort of like sort of quite detailed which is awesome 
Okay, yeah, so I think that looks pretty good. So as you can see, it is at right now in um, my level, and it looks like a normal full-size block. So although if I go here, as you can see, it's only half-size block. So it looks that little bit nicer, which is really, really awesome. Okay, so I kind of want to do a style here for the um, outer bit. So I think I'm going to do um, f five out, and then every fifth one, or I'm sorry, every sixth one, there's going to be a jungle wood thing and I'm not sure how well that will look in the end I may redo it but uh, we'll see and so it'll be something like that and then I'll have like a support here maybe like a fence or something I think that will look good do you not think that will look good? I think that will look fairly good and then, and then obviously that doesn't reach far enough which uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't really. I wouldn't really call that sort of that bad because um, it does, does. It still looks fine, you know. Sometimes some people would get a bit obsessed with that. If you're wondering what that small delay is, that's a graphical uh, bug with um, to up Optifine. You can get rid of it by removing a file, um, which I could easily do right now. But I'm gonna wait until um, I'm upgrading my Minecraft to uh, 1.2.5 because I'm gonna be redoing the entire file anyway, like the um, jar file anyway, so I'm going to wait till then before I do that. Okay, so now to make fences. So fences require a lot of sticks, so I'm going to have to make plenty of those. Well, I don't, I don't need to make too many fences. Um, I only need, like, I think about 16 would be plenty. Now I have plenty of sticks, that's great. Now I can use them for research. I think research is sort of just your way of getting rid of things, even if they're rubbish. You just use research just to get rid of it. Uh, I'm not sure about that block there. Originally I thought I might have a block there just to make it look awesome, but I don't know. <coughs> not really feeling it, to be honest, but I do like the bridge. Definitely the bridge is cool. Uh, well, I'll do a little test here. Um, I'll have to move this block as well back, and obviously I'm going to fill these sides with uh, wood and stuff. Oh, some vapor or some fairy crystals. I'm going to have to pick that up in a minute or two. Um, but pretty much, how do you think? I think that looks better, and then I could have sort of like a that sort of thing going on. I made me do that. And it kind of like support. I think that would look good. I'll try that out. Okay, so there we go. Uh, I still have to do the top layer on uh, that one there. Cause just simply I ran out of uh, of the fences. But I think that looks good. I think I want to stick with that sort of look. Because I think it looks really nice. And um, obviously the sides here I'm going to redo. I'm going to make them look a bit nicer too. And uh, how am I going to do this set here though? Uh, that's, that's a question. Uh, I might as well just sort of do that then, I guess. Do sort of a wall bit here. Just to make it look neat. Sort of similar to the same way that goes. But it, it looks good, I think. I, I quite like the look of this. And uh, I don't want to do this too much, so I'm going to continue the rest of the sort of um, getting down. So I do want to get like some sort of staircase down here. Although I'm going to do that off camera uh, because I don't want to sort of sidetrack from the thominess of Thomcraft, um, but I, I do want to sort of keep it quite awesome. And <laughs> that made no sense, did it? Okay, so I've got these things here, and these are, um, they're called Disturbed Mirrors, and they're very, very good for research. And um, if you put them all together, there's a 215% chance of getting it, like a re research. If I do that, there's a 16% chance, which isn't. Uh, great to be honest. So I want to see what happens if I do that. Um, oh well, okay. So I was wrong. That's only a forty-eight percent chance, which is good. I mean, it's not definitely not bad. Um, although I think what I'm going to be doing instead is I'm going to uh, do a bookcase, and I'm just going to put them all in just so I can get it. Even though it's only a twenty-six percent chance, I have plenty of them, and even though loads of people are going to say I'm just wasting them. 
um, you know, I still get quite a bit of things, like there's a fragment of Eldritch Knowledge right there. Also, I don't think I explained the uh, system of enchanting that well in uh, last episode, so pretty much you'll get these items, and uh, some of them, like this one, are Eldritch. Um, other ones, uh, like, for example, uh, I think these are all Eldritch that you get from in there. Yeah, everything you get from Monolith, I think, is Eldritch. I'm not entirely sure, but you know, by the look of things, it is. Or they are, um, but you can also get forbidden, which I believe you can get things from like the Nether in the end, or forbidden stuff. And um, I'm not entirely sure, so don't quote me on that or anything. Uh, but and um, then you can get uh, tainted ones from tainted land areas. So let's see how well this is doing. I've got right now two, and I've only lost one really, which is epic. And I'll get back to you when I get all these done. Okay, so right now we're in five. Just doing a quick check, and we've got still six left. Okay, so uh, back up, we got 8 now, which is still pretty good. Um, oh, 9 now, and we still got 2 left, which is epic. You can get, I found out you can get more than uh, 1 from 1 thing, which, as, as you said, I just got 3 from that 2 one there, which is pretty impressive, I think. Um, uh, down to 1 now. But, you know, 10 from 13 of those is pretty good, and it could even be more depending on how much this one gives us. Okay, well 10 from 13 is still pretty good. And we've got ni only 19% success rate there. Oh, I don't know how many of these I want to risk. Uh, okay, I'll risk it. <laughs> Everyone's going to tell me not to do it because I'm just stupid. But 19% but is still a pretty good chance of success. And as you can say, all we need to do is get a couple of theorems and then um, once you have a theorem you cannot lose it ever. So that's epic to know. Okay, so we got our first theorem, the darkness generator, something that is a very handy device. You can create uh, droplets of darkness with that using seeds. Although it does need to be around um, a monolith, but I have a monolith just outside, handily. Yeah, by the looks of things, we're only getting about one here. Um, I could get another one, possibly, hopefully. Uh, but by the looks of things, so far I've only got one. Yeah, I think I may not get that many from this. Oh, and we got a void bracelet, and they're very cool. Void bracelets are definitely very cool. And that's it. Okay, so we only got two things there, unfortunately, but they're still very, very handy devices. And I'm going to go with the moderate one first, just because it's easily um, able to be get. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to refill my bookshelves. Okay, got a new stack of bookshelves, so got plenty of those now, still. I think I'm going to split that like that, just so it's a bit easier. And we've pretty much got this. It's it's not too hard to learn, it's only moderate, which is good. And I think we're quite happily going to be able to say that we're going to learn it this time, because there's a very low failure chance, and yes, we discovered it. So let's check out its thing for it. Oh, it's crafting recipe. And uh, yeah, it's not too expensive, I don't think. Although Eldritch Stone, I have plenty of that, and I have one of those. Um, I have all that stuff on me, so I might as well make a couple of those. And let's do this one. This is a hard one now. Uh, so one thing I've recently learnt, I guess, is to not use up. Well, <laughs> to not use up all these items because I was going to use a lot of them for um, research, but I guess only use the items which. Ha has really these bottom things apart from these mechanical things because they're very handy I guess um, but still it's very cool we've got one of these so far I'll get to you when we are at the very top I guess okay and we're back uh, one more thing to go hopefully I'll get this and I should probably mention with a theory and um, you're always gonna get a hundred percent loss and we got it good and um, but you'll never actually lose the theory itself which is epic now let's see how you make this. Uh, that's not too expensive to be honest. That's quite cheap. I was expecting it to be a bit more expensive than that because you have to remember I haven't seen um, all these items. But I think um, I don't want to do research for the entire episode like beforehand. So I think what I'm going to do right now is uh, make one of the cool items. And it's going to be the darkness generator I want to build first. So what we need are uh, one of these. Two of these, yeah. Uh, one of these, I know I didn't need to stack those, I didn't know why I put them like that, and uh, three Eldritch Stone epicness. And then if we head over to our crafting table, we got our three Eldritch Stone, 
two of these, one of those, and that there, we get our darkness generator. And um, I think you can get these back when you uh, break them with crafting, or wouldn't they, with a pickaxe, but I'm not entirely sure. Now what you need to do is you need to use the um, of like the power from the obliques to charge these. So um, I want to keep it in the near sort of area of the obelisk, and I'm thinking a cool area sort of would be maybe like there. Oh, okay. I thought there'd be like pistons where they reach onto the side. Apparently they do not. So I guess I'll break that piece of stone there. And yeah, good. You do get them back. And I put that there then. I guess that should be a cool place for it, right? That looks cool. And then what you can do is you can get seeds and input them there. So if I get some seeds, I have a lot of seeds on me. Uh, and uh, put these seeds in here. Um, now you won't notice this straight away, and I think you only really notice it at night. Like uh, it really starts working. But as you can see, I've got a very very small progress bar here, and it works way more efficient at night. Although over time, these seeds will turn into the droplets of darkness, which I have a couple of. Uh, thanks to the monolith there. In here, where are they? There they are. The drop, dropness of dark, or sorry, I always say dropness of darkness. This drop of darkness, sorry. Um, but once I get that, then everything's sweet. How many of this do I have? Sugarcane, I have plenty of it. Definitely. Ha. Epic. Uh, anyways, so, oh, well, that goes pretty fast today, actually. Um, I mean, for you know, just AFKing it, it will get quite a bit of it because I AFK quite a bit. That's how I've got so much of these, and I haven't actually been producing these in a long time because these are full. So what I may as well do right now is um, get some of, like, re-get out the infuser because I had to break it. Uh, where is it? It's there. And I might as well start making some of the items which I have uh, been able to do. So I'll get out all my sort of theories. I need to make a proper theory chest. Although then again, saying that, um, it, it won't matter because when 1.2.5 comes out, um, when I say, I, when I say 1.2.5 comes out, I mean for Thomcraft. Uh, but when it comes out, um, pretty much what I am going to be able to do is uh, have all these in just one book, which is very nice and very handy. So I think the first thing I kind of want to make is this, and that's a crafting recipe, so I don't need... Uh, an enchantment for that, which is epic. Uh, let's see what other ones I ha I have, which I can make. Uh, crystalline bell, I'll make once I have enough diamonds. Uh, I really want to show off that. Uh, that I don't need to show off straight away, but um, it upgrades the speed of devices. So, for example, I could put it there, and it would upgrade it like her as an upgrade to the um, enchanter, making it faster when it enchants items. Yeah, I think you can get other ones that make it like more efficient and things like that. Like yeah, this one, yeah, this uh, the stabilized singularity increases the efficiency of any device. And um, so I may use that one instead of speed because I'm not really um I don't really care about speed of things. I'm more about efficiency of things. So uh, let's do that. So I think I'm going to do this one first. And what I need first before anything is an animated piston. And how you make these is that you. Uh, you need to infuse like loads of items together. Okay, so let's now make one of these. And I do, uh, I do know how you make it. I'm just not entirely sure uh, what crystal you use. So it is this sort of combination, but it's one of the crystals, and I'm not sure which one it is. And I think I may be wrong. You may not need a crystal. Uh, I'm going to go get some vaporous crystals. If it is the vaporous crystal, I'm going to kill myself. I have way too many items on my hotbar. <laughs> Okay, let's see, Vaporous Crystal, <laughs> and what do you know, it is the Vaporous Crystal, of course it is. So I knew it was one of the crystals, I just wasn't sure which one. Okay, so that is the animated piston, pretty cool. And uh, now that I have that, I can make uh, the other thing, the uh, repairer. Okay, and the repairer is made like this, as you saw before, and there we go. Atomic repairer, very nice, very nice indeed. And uh, for now, I'm just going to put it here. Now, as you can see, my pickaxe is worn out very handily. So if I put it in here, it gets slowly fixed, which is kind of cool. Um, now, this does cost... Uh, I'm not quite sure how much of these it costs per pickaxe or something, but um, it does cost a little bit, obviously. 
banana pickaxe is ready to go. And I might just put, throw all my items in there just for now. And um, obviously I'm going to move that from there. It's just for now I'm keeping it in there. And um, well, it, seem, it doesn't seem to be doing too much of it actually. Uh, this was full briefly, or a minute ago. So let's see how much it's at now. It's only lost about 100 Vs in total, which is pretty good, including the enchantment there as well, or the infusion there as well. Okay, so next item I want to show off is the Axe of Stream. This is an extremely cool item. Yeah, it's a it's an axe of extremely cool item. I know I'm not funny. Although first of all, what we need to do is make some thomium ingots. So how I make these are uh, that I combine. I think you can use any crystal. Yeah, you can. So you you combine a crystal with iron and you get a thomium ingot. Very very nice. And now I head over to my crafting with or my crafting table again. And like a normal axe, I can then craft a thomium pickaxe. And I with this thomium pickaxe, once I get some enchanted wood, is make it like this, and then I can go like this, and then I get the pickaxe of stream. Very cool item. Although, I mean, I, that's kind of cool. You can do kind of cool things with it, but I mean, it's not that much different than a normal axe, is it? Like, I mean, it, it's a good axe, you know, but I'm pretty sure you can just do the exact same as any other tree here. You know what I mean? Oh no! Completely by chance, a huge jungle tree just spawned right in front of my base. What am I going to do? Well, I guess I better cut it down. Say what? Yep, that's right. Pickaxe of stream mines uh, wood extremely quickly. You just go up to the tree and boom, cut it. It cuts the, all the wood down for you. Um, it's best shown on jungle trees. I kind of I don't want to cut that one down. I want to keep the one sort of near my base, kind of nearby. But um, if I head to like say this one here, that should be fine. Um, it will cut down the entire thing, and then it will also uh, give me all the blocks above my head. So if I cut it down, you'll see all the blocks then start spawning on top of my head. I pick them all up, get plenty of wood very quickly. Like, I mean, I had no jungle wood on me, cut down two trees, and I've got uh, pretty much almost uh, three stack or three stacks and a 25 log stack, which is pretty impressive. Whoa, these levels are high in here. Have we seen this? This is almost full. Um, when I was doing cave exploring, I found out an area which is almost 100% full. I think it was pretty much 100% full. But wow, that's really high actually. And while we're out here, let's check how this is doing. Okay, so three, almost four drops of darkness are made. I'm going to leave them in there for now, just so I don't need to do that much. But apart from that, that is pretty cool. And uh, just so you guys know, uh, this does work with uh, pickaxes of streams and any of the other ones. And did I say pickaxe? I meant axe. Um, so it does work with all the special tools. And hopefully in the future I hope to replace my standard lot of tools with all the cool tools as I said before. Although I think I'm going to uh, replace the axe, except the one issue is it kind of looks a bit strange on its own. So I think I may keep the standard axe just out for now, just so it kind of matches with everything else. But I don't know, in the future maybe. Uh, the next item which I really hope to get um, is the pickaxe and the sword of zephyr because um, the pickaxe what I can do with that is start a branch mine with like a 3x3 three three branch mine using just one axe which I think is pretty cool um, and then I can have about two or three of them on the go which I'll have them fully repaired and I think I, I might start most episodes off with a fully repaired set of tools just because I can make it so easily now I mean I do love that system Although I think it is sort of time to say goodbye for this episode, unfortunately. Um, obviously I don't really want to just say goodbye any episode, but I'm going to have to do it at some point. So I think off camera what I'm going to be doing is... Um, is uh, What I want to do sort of off camera is to uh, finish off this place here. So sort of open the ceiling up a lot more. And I kind of want to... Uh, make it so that like there's a staircase leading down from uh, one of these places maybe sort of here and here I could have like two staircases both 
joining up together or something and the same on the this side I'm not entirely sure what I'm planning to do yet I sort of think of it while doing it that's sort of how I do everything but um, yeah so unfortunately I'm going to have to go although before I go I do want to ask you one question um, and that is what do you want to see me do um, not next steps or anything because I tried that and barely got any comments but like what would you guys want to see me do more of like are you okay with me doing sort of legit minecraft stuff kind of like this and not do that much thommy stuff because i do understand that this is thomcraft the series and everyone's going to be here for thomcraft so i'm trying to keep uh, the episodes as thommy as they can and sorry for the lag there um, but you know i am going to have to do some sort of normal legit minecraft sort of stuff where i go build the base and things like that um, so you know Tell me what you guys think. Do you want me to sort of do things like this where I build a bridge or do you want me to just sort of focus on in on the thummy stuff and do all that sort of other stuff off camera? And uh, one thing which I'm probably am going to like start doing is I'm going to start researching on my own and then I'm not going to um, like I'm going to try and get all the fragments of knowledge at least on my own and then um, I'm going to try and develop them into the theories. Um, then obviously on camera and then once I got the theory you know I'm going to get the other one after that because uh, you can't lose the theory which is epic. But until next time, see ya!